Hello everyone, welcome to my Sister Wives Official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Cody should apologize for favoring Robin. Cody continues making excuses for why his polygamous family's breaking to pieces, but the cause is very evident. Does someone need to write it in the sky before the patriarch actually understands? The reason is Robin. Like a witch from Macbeth, she heats up a cauldron full with black magic. Her witch's concoction is strong, but she doesn't require lizard's tails and eye of newt to get results. Her potion contains all the right ingredients, including salty sob and robin tears, crazy magical thinking, and a hint of passive hostility. Delicious. While Robin's the puppet master, Cody lets her free Rean. To reward him for that, she backs him up on everything. This is where it gets toxic, by encouraging Cody to disregard the other spouses for years, and telling him that he was making the correct decisions, she's helped to undermine the multiple marriage that she claimed to respect. In reality, she removed Cody from his elder sons during Christmas, in a power maneuver that was questionable to say the least. This combo has wrought mayhem, Janelle's life's in ruins, and she acts like she doesn't know where her next meal's coming from. She may be in financial difficulties due of Coyote Pass. Of course she blames that on Cody and Robin. They live like royalty while she goes without. Mary's been going it alone for ages and feels banished from the family. Christine isn't too unhappy, but she's angry. Every non-Robin wife is furious. Meanwhile, Cody can't force himself to say, I'm sorry. He did manage to pull a pseudo-apology out of himself in the previous episode. Cody stated, I'm embarrassed by my behavior, but I'm also realizing that you don't have a safe place, a safe way to talk to me. Then, he highlighted the rage that's polluting the atmosphere in season 18. He said, I am morphing or transmuting grief into anger. While this was better than nothing and showed a feeble glimmer of self-awareness, informing a wife of 30 years that she's not safe with him was just sad. He needs to be much more contrite he's still ducking responsibilities. Sister wives Janelle Brown genuinely likes this man. It's hard to believe, but it's true. Imagine how much it must upset her when he claims that she's not safe with him. It's like he's muzzling her with his remarks and trying to halt the torrent of emotional words. Cody should mend fences with Peyton Brown. Peyton Brown, who's currently 25 years old, isn't shy about voicing his hate for his famous father and Cody's interfering wife, Robin. In fact, he's got more than a touch of Cody's fame swagger. Payton's been spotted on screen in season 18, ridiculing Cody and Robin's immune systems and supporting Christine's side. He's not bashful about the fact that he supports Christine's decision to leave Cody high and dry. Payton's using ridicule to mask how hurt he is. Cody's let him down over and again. He seems to feel that his father's a scammer, as he outed Cody as an anti-vaxxer, after all the patriarch's continuous rhetoric about being extra cautious during the COVID-19 outbreak. However, the bad blood obviously doesn't stop there. Cody should be Payton's safety net, but he isn't. He's not Payton's hero. A kind father's such a comforting thing. A caring dad will offer a child strength, rather than throwing them off balance. A great father will always be there. By spending more time with Robin's children, Cody has made a big mistake. Payton's not on speaking terms with his father, who should be his support. It's a bad situation that Cody should endeavor to fix. While it might be hard to become the sort of father that's put on a pedestal and belongs there, it's not impossible. Cody should adjust his habits, making his child a priority. Calls, texts, presence, and real interest in his son's life may change everything. While being a fantastic father is incredibly hard work, and the labor of a lifetime it can be done, other men have risen to the occasion. While Payton might oppose Cody's efforts to connect, he could finally soften, repairing the rift that's so agonizing for father and son. Cody should acknowledge emotionally abusing Mary. Emotional abuse can exist in various forms. It can be performed by isolating a person, shaming them, and trying to bring them down. Cody's guilty of all of these things with Robin's help. Mary's the most isolated woman in the Brown family. Off-screen she's left Cody, but Mary still writes cryptic posts that reflect her sorrowful wistfulness over her fate. While she's technically let go, 
Those Instagram posts reflect what's occurring inside of her. She's in her feelings. King Cody threw Mary out of his inner group, humiliating her in numerous sneaky ways. Queen Robin was still there, sitting close by Cody at each and every family gathering. These get-togethers were like kangaroo courts, where Cody and Robin had already made every decision. They went through the motions, trying to convince Mary and the other Brown family members that they were part of a democracy. However, it was just a game. Mary felt increasingly powerless in the turbulent family dynamic. The only thing she could do to improve things was leave. In the newest episode, Mary's still anxious about Cody. She doesn't want him to assume that her Utah move indicates that she's done with their multiple marriage. No one should be more done than Mary. She couldn't win Cody's forgiveness when she got catfished and decided to retreat. Mary wanted to move her Lularo business. Christine's not with that company anymore endeavor to Utah. Mary, who comes out as a bit weak at times, is frightened that Cody won't back her choice. That she would care is truly mind-boggling. When he has ever supported her emotionally, three decades ago. In terms of his attitude towards Mary, Cody might as well be on the moon. He's just not there. He's in space. That's something he should apologize for too. While Mary's also made blunders, her transgressions pale in comparison to his own. Cody should make amends for missing Isabel Brown's scoliosis surgery. The relationship between a parent and daughter can be quite meaningful. Sometimes this type of opposite-sex relationship works well. It's more typical for dads to have problems parenting sons or moms to suffer while raising daughters. However, Cody doesn't share a supernatural relationship with Isabel Brown. He hurt her when he declined to attend her scoliosis surgery during the epidemic. Of course, Christine was there at the hospital while a surgeon performed on her child. This kind of stuff's very hard to make up for. It throws a long black shadow. Since Cody has 18 kids, it's not that shocking that he's feuded with many of his offspring. While he and Zibyl don't openly dispute, there's definitely damaged emotions. Cody wasn't wrong to be careful during the pandemic, but surgery's a huge issue. Isabel was undoubtedly frightened before the operation, that kind of anxiety's pretty prevalent. Cody being close by might have alleviated her concerns. It's a father's job to make these difficult moments easier. A good father would be present. He'd find a way. Perhaps he'd double mask, wear gloves, and then grasp his daughter's hand when she was laying on the stretcher. A wonderful parent would look beyond the hazards, realizing that his presence was all important. It didn't go over well when Cody missed that operation. Lots of sister wives viewers are moms or dads. They know what's up. That's all for now. Hope you guys loved it. We will update another news soon. Please let us grow a bigger channel only for you guys. We only work hard for you guys. Hope to see a greater result in future. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.